welcome to my channel if you are new here hello you are spiritually connected with katiba that's for sure all right y'all so today we're gonna be talking about how you can read anybody's aura like you can read your own aura, you can read others other people auras or whatever but um before i get into that i just want to say like our auras can be weakened and they can also be strengthened so if you have a weak aura you can always get that back up to par to your liking you can always have a better um aura or whatever but there's a lot of things that weaken our aura so for example having a poor diet um it really weakens our aura lack of fresh air I mean, this is just another reason why I personally don't agree with wearing masks because we definitely need our fresh air for a ton of different reasons. Um, fear can weaken your aura. Trauma can weaken your aura. That's why we have to do our our healing and our letting go from our, our trauma that we've been through. Um, too much TV, too much alcohol, too much drugs. Um, lack of rest if you're not getting enough sleep like I know some people might get like two three hours of of good quality sleep um, all of that stuff can weaken your aura it can and, and really like when you're weakening your aura you're also weakening your immune system I mean your aura is just really like you know everything that your your spirit is going through or whatever so everything on the inside so if your aura is weakened, a good thing, like I said, you can always strengthen your aura. So ways that you can strengthen your aura is um, eating, eating healthy, as healthy as you can, um, and drinking water, of course, meditation, and like high vibrational music, like sound healing as well, like get you a sound bowl. Those are very healing or listen to some um, some high frequency, high vibrational music on YouTube, um, 432 Hertz, 539. I mean, there's a, the list goes on. Um, having fun, having fun definitely strengthens your aura, just being in a happy space. Doing good for others strengthens your aura and what I'm doing right now, like being in nature, being in the sun, that strengthens your aura as well. Like the sun is a very important aspect of our lives. Um, when we don't have our sun, we know that our our um, immune system is weakened and now we're deficient of things and stuff like that. So let me tell y'all how you can read anybody's aura. So first, starting off with yourself. Um, the best way to see your aura, and when you see your aura, is is colors that you see. You see colors, and then you'll be able to um, read the colors. You'll be able to read the colors. So you start off by being, it's best to see it behind a white wall. So I'm outside, I don't really have a white wall, but I guess I can go on my house, which looks like it's need a little wash down, but I'll show you guys anyways. So you just take your hand on the white wall and just, you just put it there. You put it in front of a white wall and you just stare at it. You stare at your hand until you see your aura. Now when you're staring at your hand, you're staring at the outlining of your hand. And eventually, it may take a few minutes, but eventually, um... I mean, you're playing a staring game, so you want to do your best not to blink. So, I mean, it's okay if you do blink, but just get back to staring. And eventually, you will see a color on the outlining of your aura. I mean, on your hand. And that'll be your aura color. Now, aura colors mean different things. I will give you guys a couple of them. Um, after I tell you the other way that you can read others people, other people's aura or whatever so you stare at your hand and like eventually out of your peripheral view you will be able to see the color a color surrounding your hand so when you read in others other people's aura 
You want to do the same thing, but instead of staring at their hand, you want to stare at them. Now, this is also best in front of a white wall, but if it's not a white wall, it is possible that you can do it um, just by staring at them or whatever. So you just stare at them and eventually you want to look at the outline of their body and eventually you will see a color. You will see a color and that will be their or colors or whatever. So the different colors, um, just to give you guys a few, if someone's aura is red, that means that that's, that's anger. Brown is very earthy. If it's dull brown, though, on the other hand, that means that they have low energy. Um, like blues and purples, that means that you are spiritual, you are, um, you know, spiritually enlightened. White is a very rare one, but it's just a high level of, of being spiritual. So, um, like rose, that solidifies self-love. And there's some more, but you know I don't I don't know them right off of the back. So yeah, um, try it out. Like try it out on yourself. I've I've done it. I've put my hand in front of the wall. I've seen you know what color my aura was or whatever, and you know it just lets you know like what type of mood you. I mean it's kind of like a mood ring. So when you put on that mood ring there's different colors and it kind of tells you like what type of mood you're in that's kind of like when you're reading your aura it, it reminds me of a mood ring so it just tells you like if you're good if you're not feeling so good you know it, it could tell you like what type of work you need done so if you've seen a red that your aura was red you know there's a lot of built up anger, a lot of built up tension, and that's definitely something that you can work on. So I hope this video helps someone. Um, you know, try it out. Try reading people's auras, like just stare at them. And the funny thing is like, you don't wanna just be staring at people, that's quite rude. So um, I'm sure that you can, you know, stare at them from the side or from the back, you know, and just zero in. I think the, the quicker, that you zero in, that you just like really focus. Um, I think that's a really good superpower of ours, the ability to focus. Like if you just focus in, you will be able to read your or in other people's or quicker. So that's all I have for this video, y'all. Stay spiritually used, stay spiritually in tuned, and I will see you guys next time.